<laughs> All right, love, I'm about to make one of my smoothies, so it's gonna get loud for a second. Cheers. Hello friends, happy whatever day you're watching this. I can't even think of what day it is. I'm so frustrated with myself right now. So I was about to like really film a video, an Amazon video, I had everything lined up, ready to go. I was about to hit the camera and I was like, wait a minute, where's my black dress? Oh, it's in the washing machine. So now I've got to put that off for like an hour and some change until it can dry, but what are you gonna do? I'm actually wearing a top from Amazon today. It's really cute. I'll link it for you guys. Um, it's like this little waffle material. The only thing is it is a little bit see-through. Actually a lot see-through apparently because I can totally see my chest right there. Um, but size up one in it. I think. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. But I'm now going to use this time I guess and work on... Thursday's blog post? Yeah, the blog post that will go live the day this goes live. So, it's not all bad. I have things I can do. Okay. I um, actually have some stuff back there. I just finished steaming, so all part of it. But I um, wanted to update you guys so far. No skunk. Uh, if you didn't see our last vlog, we have a skunk. Well, just go watch it. We have a skunk under our house, though. But um, we are just... Mm. powering through he didn't come back last night though so that's really good um but i mean last time we had this issue he didn't come back uh until a week and a half later so you know we're remaining positive about it but hopefully what we did or what sam did yesterday will get rid of the skunk permanently because i am over it over it Brownie dough chocolate fudge. Let's do just like a regular. They have white macadamia nut and then. Oh, that's it. They don't have gluten free by chance, do they? Oh, God. It's worth it though. Just get some of the. Either those that are like the bite size or the scoops are my favorite. Hint of lawn so good no, no. Samuel just those are yours then. I'm not eating those. Good. Okay, so that is like so crazy. So our local grocery store. Two of them. Two of them. We have two. Like is closing and it's going to be remodeled and changed into a food line because i guess food lion bought it out not a big deal but like there's literally an old food lion location like in the parking lot next to what they're going to remodel and make a new food lion and like the parking lot from the old food lion is way better better access much larger super odd but it felt it was open was like probably twice the size and a lot cleaner yes yeah, so much cleaner as i'm like what is what is the thought process behind that? i guess maybe they had to buy the building and it's still empty the place for the food line was yes it's still empty it was food line. yeah just make it another food lion like it makes no sense but we're kind of bummed not really sort of food line i don't know about their pricing like i don't know how they price out compared to they got cheap alcohol they do and they we probably don't need to be saying this well, that's where all the college kids go. That's where all the college kids go. That's the joke. If there's a college, there's if food line. Food place. line. Because mm -hmm. um, they don't ID? No, they do. They, they just have food line. So, like, Bilo doesn't have the big, big cases of 
of like canned beer a lot of the time. Food line will have to like fit you. Huge, yeah. And like, well, it's just odd. Like, we really do Walmart grocery pickup now. But we go to buy low for our like onesie twosies, so it's it's crazy. But um, no, Food Lion definitely doesn't ID. We went during finals one time. It's terrible. We went during finals. Um, it was like eight of us, and it was this tiny little class. Sorry, we're in the car and there's lights everywhere. And we literally went to Food Lion one night. We were really stressed. We went to Food Lion and bought like two boxes of wine and literally took them back to the design studio because we had finals, we had to finish up all of our projects. Drank out of our box wine from Food Lion. That girl knew we looked stressed, but she didn't card us. She was like, here you go, here's your wine. But. Must be nice. Yeah, it was, well, I mean, Sam gets carded now. I got carded on Monday when we went to dinner. And the lady, yes! The lady looked at me and said, oh, that's convenient that today's your birthday. I said, not really, because I'm 25, not 21. And she just kind of looked at me. No joke. <sighs> she was, that was like, okay. I wish I'd have been sitting there when she said that. Yeah. She did. She was like, it's convenient that's your birthday. No, not really. I mean, God, I think you look young. I don't definitely think you look that young that you would be like faking an ID. I don't think so either. But Whatever. Um, she wasn't wearing a mask, so she doesn't really get to judge anybody. That was rude of me. But anyway, um, yeah, Sam still gets carded. I probably haven't been carded. My face is super red. I have, haven't been carded since I probably turned 23. I think 23 was probably the last time I had been carded. And anytime I'm with Sam, they'll like kind of card me because they card him. But if I'm by myself or like if he's not at the table when I order my drink, they're like, what you want? And I tell them, they're like, cool. Walk off of me. Okay, I guess I look old, but yeah, it's just uh, kind of bummed. Like, it's weird. Like I don't, I don't know Food Lion. I don't know how. I don't, I just learned the Bilo aisles. Just learned them. <laughs> learned the, new ones. The one at Smart Park's pretty nice. The Food Lion? Yeah, that one's nice. I just don't know it. It's, I mean, it's a convenient grocery store. I mean, it is. Yeah, I mean, we'll take it. It's what we got now, literally. Um, I still like Walmart. I don't, I don't like that the other one is completely closing because I don't like Ingles. Uh, Ingles is fine. I think no, Ingles is expensive. It is very expensive. Everything the same in, stuff. It's everything at Ingles. You can literally, there was one time I went to Ingles right after going to Bilo. I was looking for one specific thing. And you know when you're looking for something, you like really focus on like labels and stuff. Well, I happened to look at prices. Like Ingles was way more expensive. That's the only option in this other place now, so... Anyway, we're doing, um, I don't even think I've said it, we're gonna do like, it's called three, two, one queso. Um, it's like three blocks of cream cheese, three or two cans of Rotel tomatoes, and then one pound of sausage. And so we went to the store and got a bunch of stuff to make this three, two, one queso. And that is literally going to be our dinner because we're healthy, we eat well, Okay, so we definitely ended up finding gluten-free chips. So happy. Oh, and they're organic. I cannot believe I didn't see that. I just really care about the gluten-free because the gluten is what upsets my stomach so bad. Um, also, so I have talked a little bit about this on my main channel with this bag, but I have a couple rain spots on here. I treated it with Apple Guard, but I went ahead today and bought a little Louis Vuitton scarf to put over the top of this because um, the rain spots just bother me and I really want to protect that leather. So I'm going to get that in hopefully the next couple days. Louis Vuitton shipping is usually really fast, so um, I didn't do an overnight or anything. So. That will be changing soon, but. Sir, did your daddy go outside to make sure the skunks haven't messed with the holes? Say, so far no skunks, yay! <laughs> yay! All right, I gotta start making dinner. This is what Sam told me he wanted for dinner. 
We've had some unhealthy meals in our time, but this probably is the unhealthiest. I need to turn the light on in here, but I am excited. So like I've said, this is all Sam wanted for dinner. And I've had some unhealthy meals before, but I've never had anything like this. Never had anything that's just like literally queso for dinner. That is How so is good. Pretty hot. It feels pretty hot. What do you think? Isn't that so good? It's really good. Oh my gosh. That's what the habanero pepper, whatever, tomato. Pepper. No, so it's okay. Three packs of cream cheese. Do not use non fat. Non fat does not like melt easily, I've discovered. Yeah. Um, two cans of Rotel tomatoes. I did one can of hot, one can of original, and then we did mild sausage. And it is so good. I'm like super impressed. It would definitely be an easy, good dip to have like with people A party? Over. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, this is like what we're having for dinner. Probably finish off with some cookies to really seal in the, the unhealthiness. Hey guys, oh, come on, camera focus. Um, so I'm making myself some lunch right now and I just got a ton of packages in, like literally all at once. The USPS man came here at the same time the UPS guy was here. Um, I guess it would work if I turn the oven on or the stove top on. Um, but the UPS guy was like super awkward. Zeus was barking and I could like see him just standing on the porch and I thought he was going to knock or put the stuff down and leave and he did neither. And so I like walked out there and he was like, Oh, I had to get a signature for this bottom one. And I was like, okay. <laughs> he didn't knock or anything. He just stood there. I like kept thinking he was like checking something. I don't know, because I don't ever like go outside um, when they get here, because it's Doug gets a little sassy with them. I keep meaning I need to get him more snacks. today too good lord but my camera was one of them there it is i got the sony a6400 i'm really excited about that and then i think this is giveaway goodies so these are the earrings that are in the monthly giveaway they actually are both rotated up they're supposed to go run down like that all right so i'm just gonna open one then what the little Kinder Scott gift wrapping looks like and it's so cute. This is part of the giveaway for this month. So I got both of them for the two winners. Gift wrapped. That's trash, trash. What the heck is this? Oh, yes, my white. Oh, praise the Lord. And it was out of these. Okay, so my Billy Wipes came in. Subscription service on track. What's this? Oh, my vitamins, ritual vitamins came in. Changed to taking these daily vitamins because they just get really great reviews. I ordered more shorts from Target. My shorts from last year came back in stock. And I am so excited. I need to try them on though. I think I went down to my, yeah, I went down one size. So, oh, those are definitely gonna fit. These are the black, they're really cute. And then I wore these a lot last year, so I got them in the updated color. There's that. Awesome. I got a new coat, but I didn't mean, freaking get to wear it. It's so warm. I got this faux fur coat from Nordstrom. We'll see. Oh yeah, that one is nice. Looks so good. Have pockets with my baseball cap. Look, I'm real confused. So that's the package. I only have, I think, a couple more things coming today. Literally, always is like this. I get nothing, and then I'll get like 12 packages at once. Okay, so I have 
another order coming from Thrive Market, and then something coming from Spanx. I really want to play with this though. Come up with. Uh, okay, I don't know how to like and... increase the brightness of this camera. It seems very. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Super out of my element here, but got the new vlog camera, so I'm gonna try. I'm actually gonna walk around a little bit, see if maybe that is like if it's me. Okay, so it doesn't change a ton. That's fine. I just got in two more packages um, and I wanted to try out this vlog camera. It is a lot heavier than my other one and I am a little bit out of my element here. I'm gonna have to play with a couple more settings because it just is like, it's like a DSLR and like a tiny little camera. Like you can completely customize settings here and I was not expecting that. Like everyone talked about how good the camera was and like how it had all these settings, but like I didn't realize how few settings the Canon had until I got this one. So let me go grab these packages. Spanx actually sent me this one. Um, they have like a new, I think it's a new product dropping or it's like coming back or something. I'll have to look it up. the daggum package open. They sent me this. Let's see. So this is the Laser Wave 7 and 8 7 8 legging. Pretty sure these are like workout leggings. I think. I can't remember. I cannot remember. Yeah, these are workout leggings. I can tell by the print of them. Okay. So these leggings retail for 120 and they still are like the true spank style. Like they pull everything in. Oh, I bet these are really cute. They have like little uh, pockets on the side. They've got like perforation on the bottom. Can you guys see that? So, really cute. I got in a Thrive Market order. Um, I placed a second order right after I placed my first one because I was like really bummed at myself. I like was looking at it on my phone when I placed my first order so I didn't look at the full website and there were a lot of things that I like wanted to buy that I didn't. So like I got in place of like regular butter, I got almond butter. Let's see, there's a couple things in here that I got. This is a huge box, oh my gosh. So I'll start with these. So I got the almond flour baking mix. So the Simple Meal Mills cookies were absolutely delicious. Like taste just like Famous Amos cookies. Could not tell a difference. Wouldn't know if you did like a blind taste test. Um, to, like Chips Ahoy almost tasted like those. So I got these almond flour banana muffin and bread mix because Sam really likes um, banana bread. I got these. These are, they're like superfoods, which I'm all about like superfoods. Like I just ate some cookies from them and they were like, they're like superfood cookies. So basically they have a bunch of good stuff packed into them on top of being just like a good something you eat. So um, these were the cookies I ate the other day. These are the gluten-free brownie thins from, I think it's a Lillaby grain-free. Um, they're paleo friendly. 120 calories per serving and one serving is four cookies. So they've got, um, it says made with organic and superfood ingredients. It's got avocado oil, pure nib, cocoa, cage-free eggs, coconut flour, hemp seeds, and maple syrup all in this little cookie. And it tastes so good. So I really like these. I have to be careful about eating a ton. Um, so that's what, these are like superfood, strawberry and pineapple. Uh, with plant protein snacks. So that's what it looks like. And then let's see. I'm gonna just toss these in the fridge so I don't so much care about keeping the box. That's what I thought they looked like. And then these are vegan, gluten free, and then the little packages are BPA free. They're 110 calories a piece. So I got two of those and one of them comes with one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 
all for this side. So on this side, I got, this is the almond butter I got. Um, it's got non, it's non-GMO, it's gluten-free. Um, this says creamy, which is really good. I needed a good one that was like, gonna be simple and not like chunky to cook with. I got the gluten-free chocolate chip cookie mix. This is the Thrive Market. Um, I feel like I look so dark on this camera. Uh, but this is the Thrive Market brand. There we go. Okay. A little bit brighter, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I really got to sit down and figure that out tonight. <sighs> My guilty pleasure. I got dark chocolate almonds um, because I freaking love almonds and dark chocolate almonds are just like the most heavenly thing. This is something I was like stoked for. So, so this is Omega-3 from Fish Oil. Sam and I don't eat a ton of fish. Um, so I saw this and I was like, I don't even know like, if it's that good for you. So I got this. It's the Barleen's um, Omega-3 from fish oil and it has vitamin D in it. It's basically like a little syrup, I think. It's, you take like a spoonful of it and it says you can put it in a like smoothie. You can put it on top of things like ice cream. Um, and so I was actually about to make a smoothie and I was going to put this in it because it's just got a bunch of good stuff in it. And these were regular household items that I wanted to get. So I got the, we're running low on our olive oil. So I actually got avocado oil, something we can cook with. And then the last thing. Yeah, organic extra virgin olive oil. So this is organic, cold extracted. Interesting little packaging. It is literally a store away from heat and light. Do not refrigerate. Oh, that's good to know. I would definitely think this thing needs to go in the fridge. This hat is giving me a headache, but this is what I got. These are the last two things I got. So I'm gonna put all of this up. I really need to go change this hat because this one is like still very new so it's like squeezing right on my temple so it's giving me a headache um, but I gotta clean up this mess and then I'm gonna make a smoothie and I'm going to add in this stuff and see if it tastes good it has the this is the mango flavor I believe okay so I just made my smoothie changed it up a little bit again um, added in that and I did see it at the very top it does have the flavor it's like mango peach smoothie. Um, I added in one tablespoon of that instead of, I'll link the smoothie recipe below, which is why I'm saying this. I did one tablespoon of that. Everything else was normal. And then I just didn't add in the, um, two cups of the mixed fruit. I just did one. So it like evens out to be the same calorie count, but still really good. So I'm going to edit this vlog because this is actually, I think I have like tons of footage now. I'm not even sure how long this is going to be. Hi baby girl. And I loosened up my hat. It's a lot, a lot more comfortable now. So thank you guys so much for watching tonight's vlog. We hope that you enjoyed it and we will see you in our next one.